whatever arrangements we make for material happiness, if we develop a little bit of realization of reality, we'll be able to see through the facade of maya. And in the association of devotees, we can understand what is real happiness. Real happiness is to love Krishna. And even in our immediate state of life, we can experience a glimpse of that love of Krishna through the association of his devotees, through the chanting of his holy names, through the hearing of his message, through Krishna consciousness. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has declared that the greatest treasure is the treasure of bhakti. And there's no money that can buy bhakti. It is free for one who simply has a sincere heart and one who is willing to repose his or her faith in the truth. Lord Nityananda Prabhu was freely distributing Krishna Prema through Krishna Nam. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains in his beautiful song that the only price he was asking for this great treasure was our faith. There is nothing more precious than faith. And in the wrong association, Maya will steal that faith from our heart. We should protect our faith with more attention than we protect our bank balance, our families, our own bodies and our own lives. We're very attentive in these subjects, but they will perish anyway in due course of time. But faith in the Vaishnavas, faith in Guru, and faith in Krishna will lead us to eternal love, eternal satisfaction. Therefore, that is real wealth. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.